Hello everyone, hope you're all doing all right. I'm back at the manor again today. This is my third visit, I think. Uh, last week was like a double, double little visit. Um, I haven't really found a hot spot, to be honest. Uh, it's just sort of all over, you don't expect it, and then you find some stuff. So, no footpaths or anything like that. Um, I've only got about four hours today, so I think I'm gonna just sort of stick close to the house. Hopefully we'll find something. Uh, I'm sure I will. But <laughs> Uh, it's just so, it's very windy today, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me, I've got my mic thingy on, but yeah, I'm just shading in the trees at the minute, so anyway, I'll crack on, and I'll see you in a bit. This is my second hole. You can see it, it's just there. Let's see what it is. I think it's a coin. A little crusty one. Bet it's going to be Georgian. Oh, I think I can see a head there. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. I think it might be George the First. <laughs> Doesn't feel thick enough for George the First, actually, but. Anyway, that's the first coin of the day. Right, I just flipped something out here. I think it's a coin. I can see a bit of an imprint there. I think that says George, maybe. Let's try and find it. Can't be too far away, can it? Oh, there's something here. Look. Oh, I think that's going to be a George and half penny. Oh, they're always coming out crusty like that. Oh, I think there's Britannia there. Don't think there'll be a date on that. But yeah, there's George there. Look. Which one are you? George II. That might clean up alright actually. Well, just on the head side, look. At least a bit of detail on this one this time. Georgius. Uh, yeah, I can see Britannia a bit more there. Might be able to get a date off it. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, happy with that actually. Great. Well, I was just about to fling this out. You can see my shovel is ready. But I'm glad I spotted it. See it just there? Oh, I haven't found one of these for ages. Oh, I'll just move that. Oh, that's a crotal bell. How cool is that? Oh, that's proper mushed. I don't think that's going to be a ringer. Oh, that would have been a nice one, look. See that pattern? Oh, I love finding these. I think the, uh, the older ones have a, a drilled hole. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't really know the age in this one, but... Proper mullet, isn't it? Sometimes they have initials on the bottom, but... I might do. Yeah, such a shame. Looks like it would have been a really nice one as well. But when there's one, there's always more, usually. So <laughs> well, I'll carry on with this. But yeah, so far, find of the day for me. Lovely, love it. Don't know if you can make this out, but there's sort of a square dip here. I don't know if it's some sort of water feature, but I've just had the cradle bell there and the coin was from over there, so yeah, I'll have a little go in the middle. Maybe someone's throwing something in if it was like a water feature or something like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll have a look. Something a little bit different here, look. It's like some sort of key. Oh, what is that? It's quite heavy. Oh, it's a handle for something. You know, you put it on a square, something square, and you twist it like that, I assume. Uh, but I'm not sure what, so... If any of you have any ideas what uh, this is from, let me know. I don't think it's a barrel tap, but... Yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah, maybe I'll find something out about that, but... Yeah, interesting. Well, I think we're on to a nice buckle again. Check it out. Still stuck in there. Looks a bit crusty, doesn't it? 
Let's pop it off and have a look, shall we? Little imprint. It's got an iron buckle, you can see. Ooh, actually. That might be quite nice. Yeah, the buckle's gone, the, the pin's gone, sorry. But that is quite a nice lake spectacle buckle, I'd say. So that might be uh, 1600s, something like that. It does have a pattern on it. Looks like a little twisted rope or something, maybe. But I really like that. A little bit crusty, bits have fallen off of it, but I like it. it might look better cleaned up, but yeah, really happy with that. Something good as well. Excellent. <laughs> Looking like we got a half bunny here. Just in this little clod. I'm gonna go with Victoria. It looks very worn though. Oh gosh. Yeah, super smooth. There's a, I can see an 18 there at the bottom. So that'll be Victoria Halfpenny, I think. Little bun head, little young head. I can just about make her out there. See ya. Very smooth. But yeah, that's what that is. I think we got something lead here. Can you see it? Poking out there, like. Let's grab it. I think it's a little bag seal. Say, can't quite make it out. Well, it says London. Don't know. Some sort of a, uh, some sort of company name, I think. Some sort of fertilizer. We'll go with that anyway. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, I've got a leg off. I've already fixed it twice here, so uh, a bit of JB Weld to sort that out. Right, uh, where was it? There's something here, there's a rim there, I think. So let's pop her out. It's probably gonna be George III, I reckon. Oh, that's a chunker. Yeah. Let me give that a quick little clean and I'll get back to you. Yep, yeah, there he is, George III. Just looking to the right there, you can just sort of make his outline out. And there's the Britannia there, so that'll be around 1806, that sort of uh, design. So, yeah, a little half penny that is. Cool. Well, that's another one of those splattered bullets. I wonder if this is uh, from the Martini Henry. Uh, it doesn't feel very heavy, like it's very big, because those ones are massive, aren't they? But I am in the line of sight where I found the cases. Um, quite far away, but yeah, I don't know. Could be. Well, I've just had a little harness ring. Uh, it's quite an old one. Uh, you can see where it's been cast and filed. Little fire marks there on the edge. Uh, yeah, pretty common, but still like finding them. Just had a little musket ball. Uh, to be honest, I thought I'd be finding more of these. Uh, so maybe this is a little older part, but... Anyway, yeah. Little musket ball. <laughs> can you tell what it is from the imprint? Of course, one of those buttons. Another one to the hoard, it's got to be getting close to 20 now. But I don't mind. I just cracked this clod open. It was quite a nice reveal actually. Cracked it open and there it was, a little threepenny bit. Uh, 1942. 1942. Same shape as the pounds these days. 12 sides. There he is, George VI. There we go, that's quite a nice one actually. Awesome. I was just crunching this out of the clod really quickly because I was convinced it would be a shot tea, but it looks like some sort of box. It's a bit crumbly. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Like a belt stiffener or something like that, like a belt mount. Just rub another patina off, look. It's quite sharp. Might be something from furniture, but I think it's off a belt. So, yeah, something there. A bit different. Not too sure on age, we'll be charging again. Looking at that design. Maybe a bit earlier. 
yeah, there you go. <laughs> mid 20s jumping around a bit let's get it out and have a look there it is right at the bottom of the hole i sort of flicked it with my finger just now try and grab it what is it looks like a coin well, where are you gonna be that's quite deep actually Probably George the third again. Seems to be popping up for quite a bit. Oh yeah, there he is. Yep, little George the third. Half penny again. Uh, be uh, the same sort of time period, I think, 1806. Yeah, there's Britannia there. Yeah, that's what that is. Nice. I think I'm actually on that uh, trackway that the owner was uh, talking about. Uh, crazy signals going on, so lots of iron and stuff, but. Got another coin here, it looks like. Ooh, looks like a Victoria, maybe. Let's pop it out. No, George V. They always come out here, come out well here, the George V ones, don't they? 1921 again. I think that's the third one of that date I found here so far. It's quite nice. Makes it different from uh, George III. I've had four Georges today. One, two, three, and five. Oh, and six. Ah, almost a full house. <laughs> oh, we got an imprint. It's a threepenny bit. Well, it's a Lizzie this time. So I'll have the portcullis on. Does that be uh, 60s, I think? make it out. Well, what do you guys think? Still loads of stuff here, isn't there? I think my favourite was the cradle bell, even though it's a bit mullered. And the buckle was pretty good as well. And I quite like George I coins and George II, so, you know, they're always good. Don't mind George III either, but I don't know, he just seems a bit crusty a lot, a lot of the time. I don't know, they must use different sort of metal in those, but yeah, I think I think I'm gonna ask the uh, landowner if I could do maybe the fields towards the front, you know, down the track that leads to the house or something like that. Uh, I feel like I've covered a lot of this sort of parkland. There's still lots here, I'm sure of it, but yeah, it sort of covers between William III to modern times, like almost got all the Georges um, this time. Uh, one, two, three, five and six. Um, George IV is pretty hard to come by to be honest so kind of lucky to find one of him. Um, but yeah I'm just gonna go have a little word with the landowner and see if they know if there's a dump for the house. Uh, maybe if I ask nicely if I can dig in their dump maybe they'll let me. So <laughs> yeah, well I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if you're opposed if that does happen. Um, uh, I've done it for a long time so I'll probably be really unfit but Anyway, I'll stop nattering, I'll let you guys get on. Let me know in the comments what your favourite find was, and I will catch you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>